But here we go. We're going to go to the five red lights for this race. CX Asteroid in pull position. Rocket race alongside. The lights are off and it's foot to the floor and it looks like CX, CX Asteroid did get a good start. But it looks like Rocket Race also got a good start. Initial start, but then bogged down at the, uh, you know, into the other, uh, you know, into the later stages. Boom Boy is holding it around the outside of the Red Bull, but wasn't able to make that move stick. As it looks like Arkeen stays in P4, PRL Roman is in P5, King of All starts in P6, everyone in P6 and above gets away really well. Nedas though unfortunately drops down to P2, um, or has, has actually improved two positions into P7. Turbo holding it around the outside and is looking to go down the inside of the Red Bull. What a move that was from Turbo and they improve into P7. We're going to look further up the field and we see Asteroid leading the way. Boom Boy has finally made a way past the uh past the red bull and so is keen as well uh but however rocket reese has uh immediately won back that battle as i believe both of them are probably going to go side by side into this next corner where are they it looks like rocket reese has just been able to get past though however arkeen pulled into the inside to have a little bit of a look but they weren't able to try and find a way past the king of all is still in P5. As it looks like Boom Boy and CX Asteroid are going to go all too well into turn one. However, Boom Boy was just able to switch to the inside on the later stage and uh, gets past Asteroid. However, Asteroid with the switch back, probably going to make a move into turn three and four, but he stays behind for the time being. He thinks that he's going to be able to get some better traction and try and see if he can make that position better, you know, in a bit of a better place. Looks like Turbo Alec. However, Turbo, I think that was in the background, has reset to track, and that's caused a bit more of collision with PRL Roman. And Roman is dropped down into P9, and we do have a some sort of safety car as PRL Roman is in a very weird place on the track there. And I don't know why he wasn't ghosted, but he nearly caused some collisions with some other drivers. We have another yellow, as that is Moz Megan there in the background, who has indeed spun it out of turn three. So they actually turn four, sorry. So they are probably going to need to try and turn around and uh, get going once again. They tap their rear, rear wing as well. So that's probably going to get a bit of rear wing damage for the McLaren. As we do get a safety car and that does help Boom Boy and Arkeen. I don't know what the, uh, what the safety car was for. This is going to be, this is actually going to be very interesting. Who's going to be first? Is it going to be Boom Boy or is it going to be Rocket Race? Let's see. It looks like the, uh, the uh, Mercedes is starting to come out the, uh, the pits. So is the Aston Martin. Rocket Reese is coming across the straight line finish now, but he does have turn one, and I believe it's going to be the Aston Martin and the Mercedes that get the jump on Rocket Reese thanks to that safety car. And that is not what Rocket Reese would have wanted. Boom Boy is going to be absolutely delighted with that safety car. Maybe into turn 10, there may be a bit of an opening choice, however, and that is exactly what the Red Bull is going to do. He's going to move to the inside. Who's going to be the latest on the brakes? It looks like Arkin was probably actually one of the latest on the brakes. However, the, uh, the Mercedes go quite wide, which invites a little bit of a window there for the uh, Red Bull to try and make a move down the inside. And the Red Bull wasn't able to make the move. However, down the back straight, he's going to try and make the move. He's burning ERS. And is he going to be able to get past before the braking zone? He does. That is Rocket Reese up into P2. However, the Mercedes is still there on the inside. Has to cut the corner there a little bit. And Rocket Reese is into P2. I don't know if Arkeen will probably have a bit of a uh, a bit of a word with that to the stewards. Looks like Asteroid is going to go side by side with his own teammate here. I don't think team orders are here at play at Mercedes. And it looks like Asteroid probably loses out a little bit there. Still in the inside and there is a little bit of contact there between the Mercedes and Asteroid has to stay behind for the time being. Asteroid is actually going to be under pressure by Turbo and the Alfa Romeo right behind them and it isn't, this is not what Mercedes would have wanted and the Mercedes really try, you know, really needs to try and work together to try and catch up to the Red Bull and the pack in front. However, they are going to be spending their time fighting with one another to try and just get track position. This is not what we need to Mercedes going side by side and that is Arkeen that is being tapped by his teammate and he's only lost a few positions he's very lucky not to spin there and asteroid has lost a position of him to himself with the alfa romeo asteroid is going to look down the inside once again then retake that p3 and he has done and is alec going to pr probably try and make a move on the alfa romeo as the alfa romeo was very compromised by going quite wide into turn 10 is the alfa romeo going to try and make a move into turn 13 and 14 but looks like turbo with the you know with his own turbo in the back of that alfa romeo just able to stay in front i was very close to tapping with the wall of champions i think there was actually a tap looks like moz megan is going to try and make a move down the inside of the alpine into turns six and seven 
And just so indeed, that is uh, Mosmegan out. However, it looks like the Alpine is uh, making the move down the inside as Mosmegan went quite wide. And that is indeed what has happened. Is Mosmegan going to try and make an overtake into turn eight? No, he thinks the better of himself and backs out. However, is Mosmegan going to be able to make a move into turn 10? He does go to the inside and he is latest on the brakes. And however, he's gone quite wide there in the Alpine of Sin Money. Just switches back to the inside and the... Uh, McLaren there had a bit of oversteer and did tap into the uh, Alpine and the Alpine might be reporting that to the stewards maybe. Was Megan though is already past the Alpine before the breaking point and it's the two Mercedes now in P4 and 5 and honestly this is where you need um this is where you do need uh, team orders as Asteroid gets very very close to spinning out and honestly I'm I don't know how he wasn't able to stop his spin being on a controller, but he was able to. And Arkin gets past there. I thought that was going to be another moment there of some fighting. CX Asteroid did not have the best uh, corner there. And Alec is going to send one down the inside, locks the res, but was able to slow it down. And Alec gets past Asteroid in the Mercedes. And Asteroid is currently in P6 and is probably going to try and make a move to try and make amends of this. However, Alec is going to get past the other Mercedes as well of Arkeen and does indeed. And that is Alec up into P4. So a good recovery drive from him. And uh, yeah, he doesn't really have the best of temperatures. However, we see uh, Arkeen and uh, Alec going side by side into turn six and seven. And I believe Ar Arkeen probably didn't really make the best of uh, clean lunges there. And Alec is, uh, is behind the Mercedes for the time being. But will Alec be able to get past that Mercedes or will he be overtaken by the other Mercedes right behind him? Is he going to be looking in front for the Mercedes or looking behind the Mercedes? Which one is it going to be? And down the inside goes Asteroid and pushes Alec a little bit wide there. And that is Asteroid who has spun though on the exit of turn 10. And Asteroid goes back down into P9 and that is brought out a safety car. Sin Money and Asteroid and Kian all have six second penalties. And uh, Turbo has a drive through who has just uh, crashed into the wall there. And obviously that will happen when uh, doing online races. Oh, I just realized why that was now. It's because we're now no longer run, but you know, under a virtual safety car. <laughs> I didn't even clock that. Alec is uh, back up to P3 though. And it's going to be challenging Rocket Reese down this very long back straight. Is the McLaren going to be able to get past? It's going to be side by side into turns 13 and 14. And the McLaren does indeed get past a lovely move from Alec there rocket race down in p3 arkeen in p4 will roman be able to get in on this battle as well however arkeen is going to send one down the inside of the red ball into turn one and that was very very close to contact and the mclaren does have to and the mercedes sorry does have to take to the escape road the king of all seems to be uh, still maintaining out in front however he is being very closely followed by alex so probably those hards are not the type to be on at the moment as rain is falling a little bit of a Christmas song for him, but it's not snow, it's rain, it's, you know, it's rain is falling all around me. And then people racing, having fun behind him. And one of them is Alec. And he's going to be coming down the back straight. I thought they were going to go side by side for a minute. However, Alec is going to go side by side. But it looks like Alex is going to be way behind, or way in front, I mean, sorry, of the... Um, of the Alpha Tauri into the into the breaking point. However, it looked like then uh, the Alpha Tauri uh, glitched back in front. Then went into the pits, but look at that. Rocket Reese, after a little bit of a uh, squiggly moment from Alec, was able to get past and not for, you know, a singular point or anything like that. It is actually for P2, as we see the Red Bull of Rocket Reese getting very close there. And the Williams has broken a little bit of a gap. And it's going to look to go down the inside into turns eight and nine. And the Williams is passed before the breaking point. Rome is going to continue. King of all drops another position being on those inters. And Alec, look at that. Closely switching to the inside and gets past uh, the uh, the Alpha Tauri. And that's Mos Megan that's just crashed into the wall there and has retired. When is the McLaren going to go? Has he gone now? He's gone now. He, well, he, he was going to and then slowed. And now he's gone now. The King of All was caught napping a little bit there. Sin Money is going to try and get in on this. However, Kian is probably going to go down the inside. However, Sin Money blocked that off pretty well. Sin Money nearly spanned there. 
but uh, was able to just catch it. The king, uh, king and tries to still go, and the Alpine has spun there, and it's collected Boom Boy with him. So I don't know what happened there. Kian has got past uh, the king of all, so that is Kian up into P2. Uh, so it looks like uh, Nenas as well has got past the uh, the um, Alpha Tari as well. And look at that, Nenas is going to go down the inside of Kian into turn ten. And then I select the uh, the Aston Martin back, so maybe uh, the Red Bull thought that wasn't a clean overtake, so decided to uh, let him pass back. Rocket Reese and uh, Sin Money and Key and Robo were all in a battle. I wasn't really focusing on this. Rocket Reese goes down the outside of Sin Money and uh, is up into P3. Looks like uh, Key and Sin Money are going to go uh, side by side once again. And this time, the Alpine spins around the other Aston Martin. That Alpine is not liking that green, is he? He spun both of the Aston Martins now. Right, down the back straight, Nedas not within DRS range. So it's going to be very tricky if Nedas wants to try and win this race. It looks like Alec will be victorious after this lap. As we go on to the final lap of the race, Alec into turn one and into turn two. He's going to be knowing about that Red Bull. That Red Bull is actually within a second, so it might still be on for the Red Bull. But the Red Bull still needs to keep that pressure on the uh, on the McLaren all the way to the checkered flag. Alec out in front, still trying to build that gap, still trying to not make that Red Bull get any DRS. Alec through turn seven. Really fight, you know, wrestling with the car. And Alec or Nedas will have DRS and he is going to catch up to this McLaren. But is it going to be enough down the very long back straight? We'll have to wait and see. Alec through turn nine gets on the grass. Not good for his traction. Nedas is going to be there going on to the final straight. The King of All gets another three second penalty for multiple warnings, but we are not really going to care about that. We are going to care about this battle. Is Nedas going to be able to get past this McLaren before the final corner? He's going to have a DRS and he is burning, but he doesn't have anything to burn with. Alec is just there. If only there was an extra lap or so, then Nedas would maybe be, you know, maybe you'd be able to make this overtake, but he isn't going to be able to do it as it is going to be Alec that comes across the line to win the Canadian Grand Prix pre-season in KRL. Nedas has to settle for P2. He was there. He was so close to getting that P1, but he wasn't able to. Rocket Reese is going to be the next driver to cross the line in P3. It is a Red Bull 2-3, but with quite a few penalties, is he going to lose it to Sin Money? Sin Money comes across the line now, and no, he doesn't. Sin Money finishes in P4. Boom Boy is the next driver to cross the line in P5.